So I've got these two Tatula SVTW-103s. However, they look so different. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh! It's a whale! 9-11. Oh yeah. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Oklahoma's Worst Angler. If you're new here, obviously you can tell by the title, what I'm going over today is the differences between the Tatula SVTW-103. Now, obviously this one is just a little bit different. I've done some uh, cosmetic upgrades on this one. I say upgrades, but it's really an upgrade. However, when I set out to do this video, it was, I, I mean, I felt like I couldn't be the only one who has looked on Tackle Warehouse or the Hookup Tackle or gone to Bass Pro and seen these reels and wondered, what is the difference? They're both labeled the same. They're named the same. They're both named the Tatula SVTW-103. But what is the main difference? Why does one look like this? Why does the other look like this? Minus the Gomex's oversized cranking handle on there. But what makes them so different? And why are they the same? And how are they different? So I started doing some research. And I was like, I got I to gotta figure it out. Because again, I can't be the only one wondering what's the main difference here. So the Tatula SV TW-103, it is a mouthful to say. It doesn't get any easier to say the more you say it. But... This guy right here. So this one came out in 2017. When they brought these guys out, they changed, they put color coding or like color accents to color code per the gear ratio. So on your XS, extra speed, hyper speed, XS, the eight gear ratio, it had purple accents on the tension knob, on the magnetic cast dial, and on the handle where that, uh, Retaining nut was at. It was a washer that was on there, which is obviously not on there anymore. But, and then you had red for the seven gear for the HS, and then you had the gold for the standard six gear ratio. So these were brought out in 2017. And again, like I said, the main difference that you know you could tell from each reel was, you know, for the gear ratio and the color that was on there, the color coding. This Daiwa Tatula. TW or SVTW 103 was brought out last year in 2020. Now on this reel in particular, they went with a much smaller and a much more compact design on this reel. I mean, this reel is extremely small. They're the exact same reel, but there are some serious differences in how this one feels in the hand compared to this one. And that's not even regarding, you know, like I said, the you know extra large handle that I put on there as well. There is no color coding accents on these. You're just gonna have to know from you know the box or the reel itself where it says the gear ratio on the side, which gear ratio that you got. Now I got the HS, the high speed, seven gear ratio on this one in particular. Now again, the main differences are going to be, besides the cosmetic fact that this is so much smaller, and you can see the size difference side by side in comparison on the side plates here, it's it's quite a bit different. That one keeps turning on me, but it's quite a bit different. The 2020 model is a lot smaller and a lot more compact. Is that a positive? Is that a negative? That's going to be up to you. That's going to be up to the buyer, to the user. This has been kind of weird for me to get used to, in all honesty. It is so small in my hand when it is on that rod that it's hard to really tell that I'm using this reel. It, you know, it, it's a blessing and a curse. It's a good thing, it's a bad thing. I think it's really gonna be technique specific. I still have not figured out what technique specific I'm gonna use this one on. This guy right here, I love to use it for my swim jigs. I like to use it for my chatter baits. I like to use it on something, I mean, especially being that eight gear ratio, Texas rigs, but lately especially, it's been more like swim jigs and chatter baits. That's what I love this one for. Um, that's also why I put, you know, 
bigger handles on there because I am getting a little more crank, a little more torque out of there. Fishing a lot of grassy areas, a lot of, you know, cover. But I digress. We're not talking about what I'm fishing. I'm just talking about the differences and the similarities in these. Let's break down some of the similarities of these two reels and, you know, where they're alike and then where they differ. So we're going to dive into the specs here. So they both are an eight bearing system, a seven plus one bearing system. It is five regular ball bearings with two anti-corrosion or corrosion resistant bearings that is going to help keep out dust and, you know, minimal dirt molecules that can get in there and make your reel not perform as it should. They both are a 100 size spool. To take the spool off, you do the same thing with each of them. This right here on the brake dial, you'll unscrew this right here. And as you're unscrewing that, that screw is going to come loose and then you're just going to pop loose just like that right there. So it is spring loaded right there. Then you're going to rotate your side plate off and out and away from there. That's classic. Classic me right there. So they both are the SV, the super lightweight material for the spool. Both are a 100 size spool as well. This one's just a little overfilled, but they both have the air brake system as well. So the air brake or the magnetic casting system, you know, magnetic braking, which is adjustable on the side plate right there. What that's going to do is as that spool is spinning, this orange disc, I don't know what to call it right there, is going to slide out and help to slow down the spool so you're not getting over spool, so you're not going to get, you know, as many backlashes. It's supposed to help minimize backlash, essentially is what it is. Now, the SV spool is extremely lightweight, like I said. The differences between the spools, though, is they went with a lighter weight, aircraft grade aluminum on the 2020 SV spool. So this reel in particular is going to be 6.7 ounces. 6.7 ounces on the 2020 model, on the new model of the SVTW 103. That is extremely lightweight. It is, I, I can't begin to explain to you the difference. It doesn't sound like that much compared to this one being 7.2 ounces it does have a little more weight with the handle on there, but even beforehand, this felt this felt light as is. That is why this reel, in my mind, like it just it it's almost non-existent. It's very weird. But 6.7 ounces compared to 7.2 ounces, they both have the T-wing system. If you're not aware of what the T-wing system is, that is going to be your line guide right there. So as you depress your clutch and engage that to cast. That's going to allow the line to move more freely back and forth so there's less friction. So it's meant to give further casting, less tension on the spool, less friction on your line. And then as you engage that, it clicks up and it is meant to help put your line more evenly on the spool, which obviously does not happen all the time. If you can tell by, you know, how uneven that spool is right there. So in theory, it's meant to help keep your spool level, it doesn't, it doesn't, but you are going to get better casting out of this from the T-Wing. So they both have the T-Wing on there. They both have the air brake system like I covered. What they did differently on the 2020 model is they introduced what they call the zero adjuster system. Now the zero adjuster system comes down to and has to deal with the tension knob on the reel. So the tension knob right there, what you want to do with this tension knob for that zero adjuster system to work is you need to have almost zero side to side play on the spool. They say like 0.2 millimeters. I have no way to gauge that. I have no way to gauge that whatsoever. So that spool tension knob seems extremely tight and which is kind of weird, especially for me because I like to kind of dial my, my reels in per bait from the tension knob and the braking system, but not the case on this. Now, one of the downfalls or one of the cons, I guess you could say to this reel in particular, is that tension knob is extremely small. It's extremely small and there is very little room to adjust that tension knob in between the star drag that's on there. 
Now, once you get it set, it literally is kind of like a, what's that guy's name? Set it and forget it. It really is like a set it and forget it because everything is going to be controlled by the magnetic brakes. So that's the zero adjuster that they introduced on the 2020 model of the Tatula SVTW103. I'm pretty positive they've had it out on some of their higher end reels since then, but this is one of the differences from the 2017 model to the 2020 model. Now, I have noticed a huge difference once I got that dialed in and you know, with the almost zero side to side play in the spool, as far as the casting distance that I'm able to achieve just by changing my dial independent on the bait that I'm using as well. Let's talk about the inches per turn. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be comparing the two. I'm not gonna compare an eight gear to a seven gear, but on the 2017 model, what they had on these guys is they put a 90 millimeter swept handle on here. And I've got that, I got that laying around here. Let me, I'll be right back. There it is, okay. So they put a 90 millimeter swept handle that was on this reel in particular when it came out in 2017. Now on the 2017 model, you are getting almost an entire inch more per revolution on each gear ratio, whether it be the eight gear or the seven gear or the six gear. You're almost getting an inch more on this guy compared to the 2020 model. And what I believe that comes down to is I could not find the specs on this handle, but I believe it's an 85 millimeter swept handle. I think it's 85 millimeter. Not quite the 90. It is just, I mean, it's a hair, it's a hair shorter. I'm talking like, it, it's so minimal that it's very hard to like hold the reel up side to side and show you guys, otherwise I would. The handles are different, the knobs are different. Now what I do like that they did with the 2020 model is I like these knobs compared to these knobs that came on the 2017 model. These look you know, a little bit fatter up top and you, like, you might have a better purchase on those. I like the feel of these right here and it could be the fact that you know, you've know you got that little indention right there. On the handle, I like the way this feels. And that is one reason why I swapped these out for the Gomexis. I like the way the Gomexis feels. I was not a huge fan of how these knobs felt after using them all day. I mean, after hauling fish in all day, these, these weren't very comfortable to continue to reel. This is a big improvement. I do like that. However, having that smaller handle on there, does an inch per turn make that big of a difference? No, but it is a difference in there. It is just the small differences from the 2017 to the 2020 model. I love the knobs. I'm gonna swap out that handle though. I am gonna put a different handle on there. I'm probably gonna get another Gomex handle. That's what I like, that's what I prefer. I like the way these feel. They're extremely smooth. I'm not talking about Gomexes though. Biggest differences in these two reels though. Probably the most important difference in these two reels, in my opinion, is going to be the drag. It's not that big of a difference, but it is kind of a big difference. You got 11 pounds of drag on the 2020 model. 11 pounds of drag, a little bit smaller, a little more finessey, if you will, a little more beefy, just a smidge heavier, but a little bit bigger in the hand, 13.2 pounds of drag on the 2017 model. 13.2 pounds of drag compared to 11 pounds of drag. In my mind, that's kind of a big difference. And you can really tell when you do have fish fighting and wrenching back against you where you're going to see that drag come into play between these two reels. So that's the main differences. But this is where these reels are similar and not so similar. So if you're like me and you've been looking at them and you've been wondering, what's the difference? Which one do I get? That's up to you, you know? But I hope that I answered some of the questions that are out there on these reels as far as which one's which, what is what, and which one to get. So as far as my recommendations to you guys, I would say if you are going to be more of a power fisherman than say uh finesse technique i would say go with the 2017 model 
It just feels a little more robust. I like the little bit of drag, a little extra drag that's on there. But if you're looking for cosmetics and a little bit more, like I said, finesse techniques, go with the 2020 model. This thing just looks so dang good. I love everything about this reel. I mean, they're, they both have their place in my arsenal, but I wish, I wish that this reel looked as good as this reel does. This thing looks absolutely sick, but again, it's, it's hard. It's hard to say that this is going to be like the one to go for, especially if you're more of a power fisherman style, go with the 2017 model. If you want the cosmetics, if you want, you know, a little more finesse technique specific, go for the 2020 model. That's all I got for you guys. I appreciate every single one of you tuning in. If you made it to this point and you're not already, please hit that subscribe button for me. Smash the thumbs up if you like the video or if it answered some questions for you. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all think. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time we're on the water.